Good morning to everyone. I'm Takeway, help desk of Smart SEC Solutions, and would like to welcome everyone to Smart Solutions webinar. So today's topic will be on this Dynamo learning on report format. And this topic will be shared by Mr. Chen Fat. So as a breakdown for today's topic, there are five titles whereby it will be an overview of the report types and how to get the reports view and export, how to clone new and edit the report format, how to manage the access right, and how to generate the report in the view of grid, pivot, and the chart format. So if you have any question, then at the bottom, you'll be able to see there will be a Q&A button or the chat button. So you can type in and your question will be answered shortly at the end of each of the section. So without further ado, we'd like to invite our trainer, Mr. Chen Fat, to take the stage. So thank you, everyone. Okay, good morning, everyone. I'm Chen Fat. So I'm Smart App Implementer. So today I will sharing about the Dynamo report, how to do the setup. For today, as just now, uh, that I mentioned, today we got five topics for this report, Dynamo report. Lah. So first, we will overall the general report, what we have at the Dynamo system. Okay, based on our Dynamo here, we actually got two types of the report. One is the report listing type, and then one another one is the document types. So based on the listing type, that means uh, every time you check the report on every module there, you will see the report. So here all is the report format. And then one another one is the format is uh, when you do the invoice, uh, any order, cash sales, we've got uh, any document types here. So the next one here will be the assembler. So this is the roughly how our system uh, to get the report, the listing, and the document types as well. So, as just now, uh, we set all the report. Actually, every every report we have the report header. How we set the report header at our report format there? If let's say you got the report header, what you want to set at our system here, you can go to the common module there, you can click the setup, you will see the company setup there. Then you can get the report header tab at same as this screen. So you can set the header as what you want. Maybe here you can put the image, you can put your phone, uh, the phone, uh, what phone type also you can get. But here actually same as uh, what we set using on our Microsoft Words something like that. So you can try to set your own uh, report header or your company letter head to here. Once you set here, when you view all the report, you will see the sample like as uh, right hand this screen. Okay, another one, we will got the report filter criteria. So here I will show you how to use the report parameter and additional filters. Actually, based on just now the report format listing there, we have the report parameter and the additional filter at here, at upside every report here. You can do any filter before you view the report. As the, this one stop balance listing, you can set the date as at when, then you can uh, show the balance until the date. And then the grouping option, you want to group the report by what, uh, what uh, grouping. You can grouping by brand, category, group also can. Or you can filter some of the product stock here or brand to group also can. So have to take note here, we got the suspress zero. Suspress zero means if let's say the balance or the value is zero, you will hide it at the report here. If let's say you want to show, you should untick the suppress zero here. 
Okay, so additional filter here actually is the cost. This this screen actually uh cannot fit another filter. That's why we got the another tab here to for you to do another filtering before you preview the report. So this is our dynamo uh uh how to say the behavior to view the report lah, to before you set uh you want to view any report. So for here, for some of the stock here, you can check. You want the stock type is uh you want to show all the stock item, non stock item or service item. Here also can preview. Okay. So here is the F sample for here. If let's say you want to um, to view to do some of the filtering. Actually, here every option like this one stock uh, brand. For this one, if let's say here you can see all the no filter uh the, the selection here. You can see you can uh system here we can filter by range. So by range mean here you can see if let's say the stock ID is uh shorting follow the alphabet or digit here, we can uh do the filter by range like this type. That means all of this item you can view the balance at the system before you preview. So this is the filter what you do by the filter by range. Okay, for the filter by multi select, that means here. Just now, accept the filter by range. We also can filter by multi select. Actually, if let's say you are the, uh, our previous systems, the smart SQL user, this is the filtering as a same last time the smart SQL. Lab. For here, for Dynamo, we can do another special filtering for this type of the report. That means for here, cost just now you can see all the items. Maybe you want to skip some item to preview. So you can use the multi select. That means by all the item here, you can select what you want on it. So no need to uh, by range to show all. Cost based on this range, maybe some of the items you don't need to show, so you can skip it. Okay, and then based on this kind of, uh, when you do the filtering, when you search here, Cause here you got a uh, a lot item. For example, this one you got uh our my data here got a uh, four hundred plus item. That means if let's say I want to scroll, I want to scroll the item. We I need to scroll many uh, That's why here we got a tab. We can use the file panel here to enter the keyword what you want to search. That means here if you can see if let's say I uh if let's say I want to search the grid, so here we will show all the grid on it based on the just now the data 400, uh, 4, plus. So here after I filter here, you will only 10 record on it. For this, you want to use this function, you either can you can use the shortcut key control plus F button. So here you will be auto to show up this uh, file panel. Okay, maybe I show a while how to do it. Okay, for here, maybe I put uh, one of the report. Okay, for just now that one. Okay, here let's say I got a four uh, one hundred plus report record. So I put a control F. So for here actually uh it's the new you will show at here as well, or you can use this one. Sorry, you can use show five panel. So here either you can click control F or you can use this one. You right click at the header here, you can click this one, show by panel. So here also can search as well. Okay, so this is the sample how you can search 
more uh, easier and faster. Okay, as just now I mentioned, this one suspect zero, it will hide all the zero. That means if you take here, based on the report, it will not show this kind of data, what I highlight with color one. If you untake, it will show, cause they will suspect all the zero value, um, uh, value zero value uh, data. So based on here, you have to take them. If that's cost by default is take. So if let's say you don't want to show it, uh, you want to show it all the zero value data, you can untake here. So it will show as well, same as the report what I showed you. Okay. The next one, we will got the report format transfer. Okay. For this one, report format transfer, if in case you got few company data, maybe you got database A, database B, and database C on our system today. So maybe you have created a database, uh, you have created a report nicely at the database A. So maybe database B also you also you want uh want using same set of the report format. So you can come to this common module here. Our system dynamic here got a system utility report format. You can choose this, this one report format transfer. But for host here, you have to select the host name or the public IP. If let's say a local PC, you can select the local host or a local LAN IP as well. So make sure the port number what you're using. By default here, uh, our dynamic port will be 8000. So here, after you click in, you set, uh, insert all these two, then you receive the data. Here you can uh, see the database, what you want to transfer uh, the report to, to the remote. So based on here, actually is the remote report. Uh, if let's say uh, here got any database you want to remote, so here you have to select. By default here is the local report listing. Maybe this data is the uh, database A or company A. You want to transfer the data, uh, transfer the report format to database B or company B. So here you have to select the company B. After you click, click the connect, it will show the listing here. So here have to make sure you, if let's say you want to connect uh, this database, you have to make sure you got the access right to log in for this uh, company B or database B. Okay. So here, if let's say can actually you, you select the always show all. So here will be show all the uh, report here, even uh, default format or the amended format also will show here. So this is uh, what I miss here just now to list out all the report format. If let's say you want to show all the format, which one you talk, want to transfer. Actually, you can transfer from local PC to the remote PC or remote PC transfer to local PC also can. So that depends on which one you want to do. Okay, the step will be, this is the example how we uh, transfer the report from the local uh, data to the remote data data. First, you have to highlight the report format, which one you want. Then you right click, you will see the up, you, you, can, you will see the this uh, box from up, then you select the upload selected. Then you will prompt up this message, then you click yes. After that, you will see the report transfer to here. So uh, by this report general, this topic, I will do some of the summary. So here we'll be more focused on the report type uh, by listing or document, and then the company report header, how to set up, and the report filter guide criteria, and then how to do the report format transfer from database A or company A to the database B or company B there. So if let's say you want to know more uh, about this kind of the 
summary you can refer to our youtube channel there you can click the link to uh to view more information so the next topic will be the view the report and how to export the report with the document type uh what you want okay for here actually how to view actually we can select it any report format directly to view or print the report with the simple click only. That means you can select any format. If let's say you uh, add uh, any report uh, format there, you can select any format here. You just click the view, then you can scroll in, scroll, scroll down and scroll up as this one uh, video. And then if let's say the report that you got a uh, some of the keyword you want to search system also allowed to let you to search so you can click the control f or you can click this five button you will see the bottom here you can find the keyword as you want so for example this one i search the AccuLife. so i can select match the all the data or Match some of the capital also can. So here, once you search, you can click find. So it will automatically search for you. So it will show like this one. It will highlight the blue color boxes like that. So you can see the, if let's say some of data you want to directly to search on whole report. If let's say you've got a lot of data when you preview the report. Okay, so after that, if let's say you want to print, actually we can directly to select the format and then you can select your printer, which one you want to print. You have to select your model, printer model to print it as a, this kind of person, uh, like this screenshot. And then we can set the report to the document type as you want. Okay, for example, when you preview the report just now here, so after you preview, you can see the set icon here. You click, you can set by document, uh, a PDF file, Excel, and others as well. But as usual, actually, we will export to PDF file because some of the user they want uh, paperless, so they want to keep, uh, they want to print so many paper. Uh, so they can set at the PDF file. So this is the sample how after just now based on this report, if let's say we set the PDF file, this is the sample to show at the PDF or you want to set to, set to Excel file also can. So this is a sample. Okay, here I summarize a bit. So this one here, this topic here, I will just now already discuss about how to select the format and to preview and print and search the keyword at the report by hotkey and then how to export the multiple report types. So here also got the, uh, the link, you can click in to show more details about uh, this type of view and export. The next one is cost uh, will be the crude new format and how to edit the report format. Okay, if let's say when you print the format, uh, when you print any report format, you will see the right hand side here got a checkbox. Here is the system default format. That means by right here, you are not allowed to edit the format unless if let's say some of the report you want to amend to add on some of the data or you want to change the word bigger or smaller here you can you can clone the format so after you clone the format as uh, which one you want you will show another format come up like this one it will show the original format name and then dash copy so dash copy here, that means here is the format you clean up for you to embed. Here you can see if let's say the format you clean up, here will not have a checkbox. 
So here you want to check, actually not allowed. So this one is the system auto tag for you or no tag for you. Okay. So cause some of the last time smart SQL user, they think this one is the report they want to show. Cause at the smart SQL format, this one they is tag means they will show at the screen to preview the format. So this one have to take note. So here you, you, you are not allowed to take this one is take by system uh, or system. Okay, after you clone the format, you just click the edit format and start amend the format as you want. Here you can see the report, all the what you can add in. And then here by right here you can see we got the header how to set up actually at the every every uh report our at our report here we got uh, at the report body there you can see the header you have to set the header first then you've got the data is the body side and then the photo so actually every report we got the three kind of uh this many things so you have to set up on this report there so have to take note of because you can see the header data and the footer there. So it will be related like this one page header, how to do. Okay, for here, header here, always will insert the company profile or master data value. So company profile mean you have the company data. If let's say you're not using the just now the our default the company set up the report header format some of the user they will use the own header also can so here we can set the company profile data to here and then here you can see the always will be the custom if let's say this one is the invoice you will show all the customer data to upside here. So any adjustment you can adjust to here. And then the data always will insert the TQ data here. And the footer also will be the company profile or the master data value. Okay. So, okay, maybe here I show at the system a bit. So as just now I mentioned, you can clone the format cost by default. If let's say this one is default, you are not allowed to amend. So you have to amend at the clone format there. Yeah. If sometime, if let's say you don't know how uh, cost by rep preview there, you, you will preview got a lot of data. You will got a lot of data here. Some of the user, maybe they don't know how to amend at the report there. So maybe you can, if let's say you're not sure, is it the data what you want to change? Maybe here you can highlight with the color like this. Then you can preview to see is it this information what you want to change if let's say confirm then you can change you double click here you can search what you want what data you want to insert to here so here you just if let's say you want like this kind of data like here the company id so here will be show here you just double click, it will show the data here. Okay, so far here is for how to edit. If let's say you want to insert the image at the format, system also allowed to let you to set. So here you can see the icon at the left hand side here you got the image icon you click you will you can insert the image where uh, from your pc 
or you see the if let's say you got put at the our gallery here you can see the logo like just now if let's say company data they uh, company set up there if let's say you got insert the logo here you can see the logo so you can insert the logo as well for here and then if sometimes the image is you insert here will be too big so you can make it you can change on the string here put it through it will fit at you want now because uh, sometimes if the image too big you can adjust from here so you put the string is through then it will adjust nicely uh, okay if sometimes maybe you wrongly to delete if you faster to you can undo it faster you can click the control z if let's say sometimes you wrongly to delete this one so you can click the control z and undo it so this is what i mentioned just now you can highlight the color if let's say the words if not you if not sure the data what you want to change you can highlight the color to show and then after you done all the format just now there maybe you want to rename the format this is your format so how to rename this one is your format so you right click at the format here so you select this one change report title display of visibility you will prompt up the screen so you can change the name what you want or if some of the report you don't want to uh, sometimes maybe two more format here so you don't want to sh show at, at your site so you can uh, untake visible here because some of the report format maybe is another user so maybe not important for you so you will two more one, so you can uh, untake here so it will not show at the report here uh, the format here or you can arrange which one is the first display order for you you can adjust the display which one is the number one your number one report format you can adjust so here will be how to clean the as just now mentioned this topic is to how to clean a new report format to do the report format amendment and then how to edit and follow the report setting logic by the sequence of header data and footer concept and how to insert the image or logo at or reverse the wrong deleted data and then how to change the report format name display uh, arrangement or visibility for the report there so this is the topic about how to clean and edit for next topic will be control the access right okay for some time some of the report you don't want to let some of the user or user group to to view so here we can set the access right based on the report format for some you can go to the con common module there and then system utility report format and then you will see the report management you can uh, select the format first maybe for this example i want to uh, set control the balance stop so i select this rep, uh, report format then i go to the more here actually here you can see the set user or user group deny list that means if let's say here you got check or take here the user will not allow to see this format or the user group so user group is a dynamic user group so if let's say uh, you check on here all the general user for the group there it will not allow to see this of format maybe this format you got add a uh, costing there you don't want to let some of the stuff to see the cost so you can uncheck and, and you can take here so not allow them to to see the uh, report format 
So this is the example, as just now I mentioned, you can select the module first, you select the module and then click the set this one, user deny listing, and then you select the format, you check it. So this is the example I show is the, this smart user not allowed to see. And then after you set it, then you log in the smart user. So here you will not see the report format, but other user, which is not set the deny, still able to see for this one, you can see it here, you got one, two, three, four, five, six. Here, oh sorry, here will be miss, four missing already. Then here you can see the current cost that format will not show already. So here it will not show, but other users still can see it. So this is the setting for you to control the format, which is not allowed to let them to view. Even the control user, they want to right click here to, to, to add the format there. Cause just now I got mentioned at the report format there, you can right click, you can change or set the user deny list. Here, you, you're not able to that, uh, just now deny that user that one, not allowed to find the format as well. That means this one only can control at the just now the report management there. Unless this user, they want to block some of the report, maybe the uh, report format. So here they also can uh, to set the access. Is, is it they not uh, allow other user to view the report? That means if let's say, uh, except just now this report management to control, if other format, Maybe uh, you don't want to allow the user to, to view, other user to view the report format. Here also can set it. This one set, you right click at the report format there, you can see the set user deny list. Here also can block or unblock the user. So this one you have to check it. So this topic is to discuss about the report format that has been customized or has been confidential data. So the system is not, it's allowed the user to set access right, access right and deny the user to view the report. For more further details, you can view the report uh, video here. So that video here will show uh, more detail about how to set it. The next topic is the more about the grid report format or pivot report format for the chart view format. Actually here, you can see the common module there, system utility, we got the report format. Here will be the grid view or pivot grid view or chart view format. For example here, this is also one of the form report format for us. So this is the grid view format you can go, go to any inquiry screen. So here, if let's say you want to amend the column, adjust the column, then actually you can uh, adjust your own format. So this is the grid view. Later I will show assemble how you can do the control the your grid view own format. So this is the pivot grid view. So this is the chart view format. Okay, how to set or load a grid view or pivot grid format. So this is example. You can right click at the column header there. And then you will see this box. So you can select the format here. You can set as the format. Then you will prompt up this screen. So you just give a title for you, for, for this uh, report review, then you set it. So here, after you set it, maybe next, next uh, you close the screen already. So you want to show up uh, 
another format or you want to adjust few you or you got a uh, few format already so you want to load it so you just right click at the column header as well then you also just now is the set the format but for here you can load the format you can select the format if let's say you've got few format already so you can select which one you want For the chart view format, actually, you okay. This is the sample how to do the chart view format. Actually, you the chart view format, you have to click in at the pivot view, uh, pivot view report there. You select the summary view, you highlight the data, and then you right click at the space here. You can see the show dynamic chart. So you can, you will see, you can, you're able to see this one, the, the chart view format. So what you highlight just now, you will show the data as what you see. So this is the chart view, chart wizard. If let's say you want to, maybe this one, uh, pie chart, you want to set another uh, different chart, you can select the, another type here. So maybe I show how to set it up. So for just now, maybe an uh, inquiry screen here. Or maybe I show this one. Okay, I show this one first for the just now. Okay, for this one, the grid view or private grid view. For here, usually we, we, with uh, our default stock maintenance screen will be like this. So always you adjust, like uh, you can adjust here, adjust there. After you adjust, actually you can save. This one is you, your format. Or you can, if let's say uh, previously you already set the format already, you can right click. You can load the format. Okay, so this is the format one I set pre previously. If let's say I want to load to uh, another format, I can click. So here we'll show another format. So here you can see, if let's say you've got a uh, few kind of data you want to view at uh, different grouping, you can set the format here. Then you, will, you can see the format anytime as you want to see. So just now I got mentioned, if let's say here got two format, maybe you want to uh, manage it, you can come to this manage format here. You can delete it or you, you can maintain which one is the first system, uh, which one is the last sequence. So. This one for manage format here actually also same as the just now the common module uh, set. Sorry, system utility report format. So just now that one is the grid view format. So you can see the just now I what I show one and two here. Same as the this format. So you can code to manage format here. So this one, same as just now, I show the grid view format. If for the, this one summary view, what the format you already set, actually will be show on this one, pivot grid format here. And then the chart view format also. If let's say you got set the, any chart view format, here will be show here. Okay, for just now, the data stock balance inquiry, maybe I try to find a brand to show you. Maybe I'll try it. Okay, for here, 
I can select the data, then right click at the bottom here, then you show the dynamic chart. So this is the chart you can, so here you can select different chart as you want. So here you can select, after that, you select which one you want, then you will, you can set it to put at here. So you can manage here. So this is the chart view, as just now I sh show the sample. And then here we will summarize how to set the and load the format with the different grid view or private grid view at different time. And then present the summary data result in the, in the chart view. Here I show, let you know, we got uh, our user guide uh, portal. Actually, you can set this link or you can scan this uh, QR. So after you, you here, we uh, actually every time uh, after our webinar or any update for the product, we actually uh, will try to upload to here to let you know. So in future, maybe you got any, uh, maybe forget some of the system how to use, maybe you can try to check on here. So we will try upload the, all the information to here. For the video there, we, you can go to our YouTube channel there to, to view back all the training webinar or product tutorial. Also, you can get from here.